In the present video, we're going to introduce the idea of repetition structures, also known as loops. And we're going to present two of them, the for loop and the while loop. For that purpose, we're going to go to our worksheet. Repetition statements. In, uh, in, in the example that we're going to present here, we're going to do summation. So we first initialize or give an initial value to a variable called S. And then I'm going to use a for loop to control the summation. Okay, the summation that I'm going to try to calculate is basically the summation when K is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 for S, uh, a 1 over K square, right? And so I could represent that in the following way. This is the representation of the summation that I'm trying to calculate. I'm trying to calculate the sum of 1 over k squared when k takes the value of 2, 4, 6, 12, and so on. So this is just an a, a algebraic representation. I'm going to eliminate it. And this is the actual way that we're going to do it. To indicate, uh, we need an index. This index is k, and that index is going to take the value represented by this range. To type a range, you type range to 12, 4. If I do that, I actually did it over here, I'm going to repeat it. I type range, parenthesis 2, comma 12, comma 4, equal. It gives me a vector with the values 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And that's what I have right here. So it's going to be repeated for k equal 2, 4, and so on. And the current value of s that start with 0 will be added 1 over k squared. By the time we finish repeating this loop as many times as six, uh, the six times are required here, then our value will be s equal 0.378. These up two operations can be put in a line, right? And the way that uh, I'm going to I'm going to repeat here the the building of this line. I got line s, sorry, uppercase s column 0. And then the next one, I'm going to click there and click on the 4. And then I type K here from the index. And in here, I'm going to type my range to, to 12, comma 4. And in here, I simply type S equal S1 over K squared. So I'm going to accum be accumulating that 1 over K squared to the value of S for as many times as required by the range. What's happening here is the following way. We start with s equals 0, then k takes the value of 2. We add s1 1 over k squared, and we get 0.25. k now takes the value of 4. We add 1 over 4 squared, and we get 0.3125. Then k takes the value of 6. We add 1 over 6 squared, and we get 0.3403. And then we go 8, we do 10, and we do 12. And the time we finish, we have s equal to 0.3728. That is what is summarized in this statement including the for loop represented by this statement. Suppose that uh, I want to generalize this and create a function that, that is going to calculate the sum of 1 over k squared. If I provide the initial value of k, the ending value of k, and the increment. And so in that case, the range that I use here will be range, parenthesis, k dot s, comma, k dot e for n, comma, k dot s plus D, control G, K. And, of course, in this case, it's going to give me an error because I haven't defined the things. But if I define K dot S as my initial value of 2, in this case, and K sub E as 12, and then D, control G, K equal 2, then I do obtain, let me drag it over here. I'm going to drag it over here. Now we get the values that, that I was expecting. And so for the case uh, that I had before, if we um, enter the value of 2, 12, and 2, we get the point 378 that we were doing before. To see another example, this is the so-called Euclidean norm of a vector. A vector will be something like this, a, uh, 
um, row vector or a column vector. In this case, here we have five elements. And basically, what we're doing is if n is the length of the vector, you're going to take the components of the vector, square them, add them together, and then take the square root of them. So you can just type this statement in SMAS3, but I just want to show you the use of a for loop. I'm including a line here that calculates the length of the vector, initialize, initializing the sum of 0, and then for k between 1 and n, add fbk square, and then the square root of that will be what is reported, and that's the normal, the Euclidean norm. If you type it a single statement, you can do it like this. Um, will be like um, NES of V um, square root of sum with a, let's see the summation symbol right here, V uh, bracket K space bar square, and then we type here K equal 1, and then up here we put type the length of V. For some reason, I ended up with a parenthesis here, not here, but you should be getting the same result, actually, if I move this here and replace it, and then delete this one, my result is the same. Um, for a matrix, let's suppose that we have a matrix, and the element in the i row on j column is called aij. Take that element, square it, sum it over all the values of j, and sum it over all the values of i, and take the square root of that, that's called the Frobenius norm of a matrix. In this case, I'm using a nested for loop. This for loop right here, it's contained within this one. The i index controls the outer loop, the j index controls the inner loop, which is nested. And then we go calculating the sum of the elements of the matrix squared. And when we have that sum, we take the square root of that, and that will give us the Frobenius norm, which you can program into a single statement in this way using summations. You get exactly the same result with the two examples. There's another statement, it's called the while statement, that can be used for four loops. In this one, you, you have a condition for continuing the loop, and then you have the body of the loop. The main difference between the for and the while is in the for statement, the for itself controls the index. All you have to provide is the value of the index, and then it controls the loop. Well, in a while statement, you have to initialize the index, initialize, in this case, the sum that we want to calculate, put a condition, in this case, k less than or equal ka, and then in the body of the loop, using a line here, you modify the index by increasing it by delta k, and then you also modify the summation by summing 1 over k squared. When you're done with the while index, the control sent to the next line, which is simply the value of s. And so I'm calculating that using this, my sum 2. And then um, I use it to calculate the Euclidean norm of a vector, initializing k equal 1, s equal v, v1 square for the first value. And then while k less than n, increase the, inc the index, increase s until you get your result right here. For a um, provenance norm of a matrix, you have a while statement. This is the body of the while. And in that body, you have another while. This is a couple of while statements that are nested. And you have to initialize the J, which is the interior index, every time that you go into the while statement. Study these cases to understand better the, the issues of the for and while statements. And we're going to end this particular video at this point.